<clears throat> Alright guys, this is my original build, which I'm now redoing the teeth on, and the one I've just completed you've all seen. Now then, um, what I intend to do is do a quick video on how I did them. Um, since this one is, um, well, I basically reworked it ever so slightly, I wasn't quite happy with it, so I'm going to show you how. Uh, right, it starts with this stuff, Milliput. Best thing to do is get two even bobbles of it. Comes like that. Um, these are pieces here that I have uh, used in building this. And you see that's rock solid. So then make a little braid out of it, mix it together until it's, you can't see either colour. And once it's mixed, you've got about, um, I'd say, a good half an hour before you work in time basically um, after that you're going to start struggling but remember this part is reversible anything else you got to ask yourself one question how much can you take away and how much can you put back doing the bridge of the teeth remember you can only take away so be very careful very careful when doing this little mod here but for now uh, we're going to this remember the faceplate is separate so you've got to answer consideration uh, right basically what I do to do the teeth you put a little worm down like that see a little bit thinner with it so that would be the speck of that tooth there so what you do from there is just chop him off and I'll leave you with something like a tooth so it's a bit rough when you've got one hand uh, and you go round each one doing the same thing uh, and you build it out towards the bridge you got you um, and now the, there are a range of tools you can use with this I mean it's entirely up to you really um, some ones I use here little Dremel um, ends which I've got burnt out three of these uh, actual Dremel motor things uh, yeah you've got little bits of bobs um, these are very very handy because once it's set you can start to carve out your teeth and create the separation what have you um, sandpaper and then uh, little buffering pads to bring up the shine all right so uh, I'll get into paint later on but yeah you can uh, also fold that in half and really get in the uh, some of the grooves and do it that way um, Right, um, I initially start off with the original teeth um, and then what I do is I file them um, back. Uh, I went quite far with this one actually, I had to reposition the motor. Um, and then you just, once you've got them set back, make sure there's a gap in between each tooth as well. So you want a gap. And then, um, yeah, that's your template. And remember, this bit is reversible. You can just rip it off and start again. So don't hesitate. Uh, guys, hope that helps. Um, there's a few 